All right, hello and welcome back. I'm Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. And today we're talking about motions to reopen, and specifically I want to talk about what is a quote-unquote sua sponte motion to reopen, all right? Sua sponte is a Latin phrase, and it basically means of its own accord, all right? And what that refers to is when we submit the motion to reopen, often we'll say, hey, we're submitting the motion to reopen under this provision of law, under that provision of law, and under some other provision of law, and in the alternative, we're submitting it pursuant to uh, uh, the sua sponte powers, all right, or su the sua sponte doctrine. And so what that means is, is that the court, the immigration court, or the Board of Immigration Appeals can, and has the power to, and has the right to, reopen a case of its own accord, in parentheses, all right? And so, or in quotations. The, the benefit of a sua sponte motion to reopen is that there's no time limit to them, and there's no number limit, and a judge or the BIA can do it if they really feel that it needs to be done in the interests of justice, all right? And so uh, where we have challenges with the other types, with the other uh, uh, legal arguments for a motion to reopen, maybe, maybe we've uh, overpassed the filing deadlines, which remember is typically 90 days for a motion to reopen, um, where we've overshot that, but where there's other equities in favor, where there's other good things in favor of your case, sometimes the sua sponte power of a motion to reopen is the best way to get your case back on file and to get it back on track. So that's the advantage of a motion to reopen. The disadvantage of a motion to reopen that's sua sponte is that it's much harder to challenge it if the judge or if the Board of Immigration Appeals denies that motion. It's completely up to them, in other words. If they say yes, great. If they say no, tough. And there's not really a way to appeal. Uh, there's some fancy arguments out there, but it's not really uh, uh, winnable to appeal a motion to reopen under the sua sponte powers uh, if, it, if they deny it, all right? Which is why, strategically, it's always better to have some other legal basis for your reopening in addition to the sua sponte request. All right, so I hope this was helpful. If you have questions about motions to reopen, please contact our office. I'd love you know, to meet you or to have my consultations team uh, help you explain motions to reopen and see what options you have uh, to potentially reopen your case so that you can uh, get back and put your case back on track in front of an immigration court, all right? If this video was useful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Otis Landerholm, Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. Thank you.